Growing up in Indiana, Louis Dampier feared he wasn't tall enough to make it in basketball. I was told I was too small a lot <laughs> to play college ball and then to play pro ball. In the mid-1960s, the six-foot guard's tenacity and lethal jump shot helped him turn the word runt into a compliment. Dampier shot 50% for his career as a Wildcat and averaged nearly 20 points a game. He teamed with forward Pat Riley, and the two led the Wildcats in scoring for three years at Kentucky. Pat Riley was my roommate all four years at U of K, and even though both of us didn't want that to happen. I was more or less a suburban boy, and Pat was uh, close to the city and uh, very streetwise. So uh, we didn't hit it off the first couple weeks that we roomed together, and we both went to Coach Lancaster and Rupp and requested that we have new roommates. Uh, but they refused it, and now I'm glad they did because Pat and I became very close. Uh, both became All-Americans and went through and almost won a championship together. Dampier and Riley were the stars for the team known as Rupp's Runts. With no starter over 6'5", expectations were low for the Wildcats in 1965, but Dampier's 21 points a game helped lead UK to a 27-2 record and a shot at the school's fifth NCAA championship. The Wildcats lost the title game in a landmark upset to Texas Western, but earned a place in Kentucky basketball history. We had a great run that year, and it was really disappointing that Coach Rupp didn't get that fifth one. But it was a rewarding season anyway. A two-time All-American, Dampier later joined the Kentucky Colonels of the American Basketball Association, becoming the ABA's all-time leader in scoring, three-pointers, and assists. He went on to the NBA and eventually returned to Kentucky, starting his own business. It's amazing that the, the people of Kentucky, how they, they continue to know who the players were, even young kids come up now and their dad will say, this is Louis Dampier, he played for the University of Kentucky. And they'll go, oh, really? And, and they'll know the name. And that's because their grandparents, their dad, and other people just kept them aware of the history of Kentucky basketball. And uh, it's still overwhelming to me the way people remember 